Now, if it's going to be two and a half to three years to get to Mars, we kind of know a little bit about what that's going to mean in terms of actually keeping the astronauts alive. We're not talking about the health problems that can go wrong, which we'll explore soon. This is just simply keeping the human alive, healthy human alive. Yep. So what do we need to keep humans alive? We have to keep the temperature yep. in a reasonable range. If it goes to minus 30 or plus 90, you're in trouble. Yep. Um, and you need to have the right air pressure. Um, and you need, on the International Space Station, the budget is you need about point, just under a kilogram of oxygen per day. That's, so that's obviously to breathe. Yep. Um, about 11 litres of water per day. Now that's, that's the current budget they do for the International Space Station. And earlier space stations, it was much less than that. That's right. So that's probably allowing yourself to wash every now and then, other luxuries. Yeah, like exactly. This. So th there's other reasons of using water, and some of it's even budgeted into other systems that require water yes. to keep you alive. And about 0.8 kilograms of freeze-dried food. Yep. Tasty. Some, yes. Um, you also need to, for example, um, filter the air all yep. the time. The air is closed, it's constantly moving around. For example, all the plastics get yes. out gas and produce things that over time build up. I mean, CO2 breath, um, yeah, as you said, outputs from the computers as yes. well, everything. Yep. So they use the, uh, the system, here's being tested on Earth before it goes up there, the environmental control and uh, yep. life support system. And what this does is it tries to recycle all these things and clean out all the pollutants to keep the air and the water usable. At the moment, about 93% of the water is reused. Yeah, it's pretty good. I mean, and they have clever ways of using it from recycled urine to other ways. So, yeah. you know, it's pretty efficient. You're not losing a lot of water. Oxygen is not so good, 40%, but that's still better than nothing. It's better than nothing. Food, yeah, that's one of the tricks. There's not that easy way of reusing food yep. on the internet. So if you factor in how much is being reused, it turns out we need about two kilograms of consumables per day. To keep a single astronaut alive on the International Space Station. Yes. So bear in mind that um, it uh, costs about uh, uh, $6,000 per kilogram. Uh, so about per day, which is $3,000 for the current rockets. Yep. Back when the International Space Station was launched, they were, it was more like $60,000 yeah, yeah, exactly. per kilogram. So two kilograms per day is $120,000. So I mean, that's an expensive restaurant meal. That's right. Um, nowadays with SpaceX, it's much cheaper than that. Um, but still, like 40 kilograms of rocket fuel to s supply per person per day. That's a lot. And that's in the International Space Station. Yes, on so Mars, <laughs> see four astronauts, 300 days to get there, 300 days on the surface, 300 days back. You can do the sums, and it comes up as about seven tons of supplies. For four astronauts for one single Mars mission. Yeah. Now, seven tons is not ridiculous. I mean, the Orion capsule is actually 22 tons. Yeah, it's designed to be big. Yep. Because they designed it because they kind of know they're going to have to carry a lot of supplies. So about a third or a quarter of it's going to have to be these sort of supplies. But that's, that's doable. Yep. The bigger problem is going to be carrying fuel for the return yes. trip. Because we worked out we need 40 to 1 to get it there. But then we're also going to need... It's not as big a delta V to get back, but you're still going to need a lot of fuel. To get back, that's and right. That fuel, that fuel has to be carried all the way there. Yep, so that's actually added mass that you're not using. Mm. And, you know, as you said, this is assuming everything is perfectly according to plan, which very few things do that. That's right.